So I've been to the best rated water park in the world, so I thought it would only be right to go to the largest indoor water park in the world. I'm here just outside of Berlin in Germany. It is absolutely massive. It's 710 thousand square foot. You could fit the Houses of Parliament in here, Big Ben. It's also the largest single hall without support pillars in the world. There's an actual rainforest in here, real flamingos, real beaches, and because the trees grow with the UV light, you can even get sunburn in here. This is Tropical Islands Water Park in Germany. But before we do any of that, it's time to check out my room, which is actually in this massive resort. And what lies behind this door is pretty crazy. So here is my room number 1401. These are called designer rooms and uh, mine's a double. Everything gets opened and paid for with these wristbands. Now this is a special room. It is absolutely huge. I stayed in here last night, but uh, let's just quickly do the room tour. First of all, the theming, absolutely love it. How many places or hotel rooms do you get? A actual jellyfish light, that is brilliant. And staying with the sea water theme, is that made out of like paper, wow. And again, by the bed, love the design, very swish with the lights. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of light that comes in this room, but what's brilliant about it is if I press this button, you'll notice the blinds are coming down. Because I was thinking to myself, where are the curtains in this place? So even during the day, you wanted to come up here for a little bit of a snooze. The blinds can come down. But for the sake of the video, obviously I'm going to put them back up. So a huge TV, a little bit of a workstation. I've got a phone so I can call reception. And here is where my tea and coffee is. A couple of glasses, a couple of mugs coffee and cream, tea and sugar. I've got what looks like an espresso machine and a kettle as well. I've already had a cup of tea this morning. I've got a mini fridge, complimentary fruit juice and still water. I hope that's complimentary. I'm sure it is. I can't see any sign there that says it's not. Okay, let's check out the bathroom. This is really nice. Obviously the shower, it's got a toilet just around the corner here, hair dryer, nice big sink, fresh towels. And the shower is in here, it's one of those little monsoon showers. It's pretty good. And the nice touch of the shower gel and the body wash in the shower. Let's check out the sofa, very designer. Obviously being in a designer room, very nice and modern. Now I am staying here for two nights, which means I'm gonna spend one night up there and one night in the double bed. I've gotta go and check it out. It's hard to do this one-handed. Wow, and with that, I'm 13 again. This is brilliant. You think you'd be paranoid about maybe um, falling out, but this is there to help that and so are these. But if you're staying here with a family, the kids will have a great time up here. The only thing this is missing actually is a TV, either side. That'd be a nice touch. Now I've already spent the night in here and I can tell you it's comfy, but the bed test, oh, probably one of the best night's sleeps I've ever had. It does get very warm in here, so you do need to use the air conditioning. So I'm gonna start the tour right at the entrance. Day visitors come in here. If you're staying in the resort, you check in over there. This is absolutely huge. This is literally where I am right now, and you can see how big it is. A lot of the accommodation goes around the park itself, and there's also a few little areas where you can stay in these little huts. There's also places you can camp inside here as well. There's a whole rainforest little park here, a big beach area over here, there's a spa area over there, there's more tents there, there's a stage, there's restaurants. So you've got all of that, but then you've also got the outside bit, the Amazonia, which has got rapids, a very nice hot pool, but some other outside stuff which is obviously closed at the minute, but this is still open, so we'll go and check that out later. I don't know whether the camera does it justice, just how big this place is. And the fact that when I turned up last night, you can actually hear people in the far distance. It just sounds really odd. So the entrance to the rainforest is up there. You can actually stay here in some of these accommodation blocks. 
we've got balconies look at that so you can even stay in some of these rooms just looking through there with the beds so first of all we're going to check out this area there's a slide and a nice beach here it's not the biggest beach because obviously that's over there which we'll come to in a moment lagoon and waterfall you can see how much natural light this gets look at that so you can stay right on the beach this is absolutely incredible there's the balloon so you can see there there's a, a lazy river there's a hot tub that is crazy the guy is actually just pulling the balloon <laughs> let's head up here temperature outside look, is literally freezing and the temperature inside is 26 degrees inside there are loads of restaurants and bars and obviously I use my wristband to get food and drink obviously I do have to pay for it at the end I've got a limit of 250 euros a day there's another restaurant over there and also that's where you get breakfast so this is known as the Bali Gate at Tropical Islands. It's the biggest gateway of its kind outside of Bali. It stands 14 meters tall. Pretty impressive. Everything in here is huge. There's crab table seats there. Slushy factory. And frozen yogurt. Place to get a coffee as well. Some donuts. This is one of the main restaurants here. It's where you go for breakfast in the morning as well. There's a there's a food court just through there but well, I'll just take you in here quickly obviously when you're in here it's best to just wear shorts t-shirts and flip-flops even if the temperature outside is freezing cocktail and smokers lounge maybe a cocktail later Sex on the beach, eight euros fifty. This is so brilliantly themed. And there's even a model boat pond just there. So there's more rooms up there. All the model boats and a huge ball pool. I'd love to jump in there myself. It's not currently open, which is a bit of a shame. Some of these rooms though, look at them. Can you see that huge treehouse walkway? There's even little go-karts in here. I've got to show you something amazing that's in here. And that's how you can come and stay in a tent. I'm heading to Sunset Camp. Literally, you stay in a tent on the beach. Look at this! <laughs> so you actually can spend the night here in the water park. There's not many other water parks that will allow you to do that. They've even got their own deck chairs. This sand. So if you've got kids that love playing on the beach, this is perfect to stay here the night. Question is, will you get sand in the bed? Let's go and check out one of these tents. So pretty basic but a different way to spend the night. There's quite a few of these here. There's a little hut there you can stay in. And there's more tents up here in the shadow of the biggest water slides in here, which are unfortunately not open. I thought the work would be finished, but they're still doing some work at the minute. They're not currently open, but we'll still get some slides in elsewhere in the park. There's crazy golf in here too. So of an evening, they have some shows going on in here, in the theater. It's around about lunchtime now, so I think they're just uh, getting set up for this evening. There's a huge bar over there. It's a massive stage. 
your mind is playing tricks with you. You don't realize you're in one big uninterrupted indoor space. And even up here, there are more rooms. So there's accommodation literally dotted around the whole park. All interspersed with all the, the slides, the cafes, the restaurants. I'm gonna take you to the best part of the water park right now. The biggest beach in here, which is super impressive. Look at all the sunbeds. It's crazy. People are actually sunbathing inside. Like I say, you can get a suntan in here if you're in the sun. So that's the Amazonia area, which I think is shut. I don't know whether we can walk through. Let's kind of have a look. So this goes outside. I don't know whether it's actually open because it's pretty cold outside. Look at this. This is so warm in here. Oh my God. It's literally zero degrees outside and the pool outside is open. Just the whirlpool bit, the other parts of it are shut, but there's rapids and a great outdoor pool. Let's go and check it out. So it's freezing outside, literally the temperature is just about minus one, I think. Lovely clear blue sky. I don't know how much you're gonna see because the water's so hot, it's making a lot of steam. Yeah. It's like a little lazy river that pulls you along. It's like being in a hot bath. Ooh, this is so nice. See the outside of the building? The hell, this is like a whirlpool. Wow, this moves you really fast. It's like being in a washing machine. Trying to get out of there is ridiculous. This water's a little bit colder. So these are the rapids. Looking forward to this. Hard to believe how cold it is out here because it looks like a really nice summer's day. Whoa! It's better just to go front facing down. So you can leave early or you can continue down here, which is what I'm going to do. This was super busy a minute ago, it's gone quiet. Oh, this is nice and relaxing. These are definitely longer than the ones I went on in centre parks. Oh! Whoa! This is totally amazing. We are inside, I can feel the sun on my skin, it's February, and people can actually get a suntan in here. Probably not in February, but other times through the year. And the best thing about it, you don't have to pay for the sunbeds. All those palm trees that you see are real. Should we go and check out the bar? So when you get a little bit too warm, you can head up to Palm Beach to get a drink. So if you want a drink, obviously you can use your wristband and you just scan it to get as many drinks or cocktails as you like. These are dotted around everywhere. You buy these refillable flasks and then you can fill up all day. It's a day in February, but just look how busy it is in here. Well, if the heat gets too much for you in here, you can head up into the rainforest and these plants are all real and something that is truly amazing in here are real flamingos let's go and find them it's really getting warm in here now earlier i did see some gardeners in here sorting out the plants still can't believe all this is indoors and i think i can hear the flamingos just down here in this little lagoon there they are. Look at that. Let's go down the other way to check them out. They've even recreated little streams. Look at that. 
Not only is there flamingos, there's a turtle down there as well. Have to go and check out the butterfly farm. Wow, there's butterflies just everywhere. Look. Butterfly drinking a little bit of orange. There is like a huge moth up there. But if you've ever wanted to be surrounded by butterflies, this is amazing. Look at this, they're all dancing around this little tree that's got bits of banana or orange. I've never been in a butterfly farm before in a water park, have you? Some information about the dome and the hangar. It was uh, gonna be used for an airship that was actually never ever housed in here. But you can see just how they put it together as they started building it. Look at that. I'm gonna go up in a hot air balloon inside this water park. This is gonna be good. Now you do have to pay extra and I've paid extra. I've paid 39 euros. You do have to book it. A little bit nervous because I go in alone and just let the the helium in the balloon take me up. So he's actually just counteracting my weight because it's just me going in here and I don't weigh too much. So he's having to add just a little bit more weight <laughs> to keep it down. In I go. Graceful as ever. Right, I'm in. So I've just been told if I'm sick, there's a bag. <laughs> no one's used it yet. No, thankfully not. Oh my god we're going up and the balloon is attached to this gentleman and he will just basically take me for a walk bye <laughs> this has got to be the weirdest thing i've ever done and it whoa he wasn't wrong when he says it wobbles where is he i'll just move over here oh my god it is it's going to one side i'm not going over there i think you can just see him there with that line he um takes me for a walk so it's completely and utterly just floating in the air. Let's hope he doesn't let me go. So he's literally just walking underneath me and pulling the balloon. It's uh, at the height of 15 meters and I think this is as high as it goes. I've never been in a hot air balloon before. You can have up to three people in here. You can see him, look, he's just taking me for a ride. See all the tents down there that we looked at. Almost as high as the big water chutes. And just heading over towards the, the main beach. Wave at people. <laughs> just coming through, just ignore me. Whoa, he's going right over the water. Whoa! This is mental. People are probably looking at me going, oh my God, I'm going down. I'm going down, I'm going down into the water. I'm going to be joining those people in the hot tub. I think it's definitely worth the extra. So you can even stay in those little cottages just up there. Amazing. I don't feel scared at all. I think I could do a hot air balloon now. Hi. <laughs> Everyone is staring at me. It's not something you see every day. Apart from that guy there, look, he's just on his phone. Just solid ground. Thank you very much. There's also shops in here as well. So if you're short on t-shirts or flip-flops, you can go in and get some. Mm, nice comfy flip-flops there. How much? 24.99. By the way, the water temperature is 35 degrees so you won't get cold. Let's do some more slides. So this is called Space Hole, or I 
Even on the windows, it looks like you're somewhere abroad with palm trees and blue sky. Now, yeah, it is blue sky out there at the minute, but this is actually all like a photo and the sun lights it. All right, it's just after half past eight. I went for a massage and if Gabby's watching, um, I didn't show the video just purely because there were so many naked people around. In fact, if you went into any of the hot tub or the spas or the saunas, you actually had to be naked. So obviously I couldn't film in there, but don't worry, I just went and had my massage and went out, I didn't look. Anyway, let's go for some food. And also, there are still people here swimming at just after half past eight, let's go. Do you know what, when I was walking around earlier, unless it's my imagination or maybe it was the sun, but it was almost like part of the floor in certain parts of the resort was heated. If you've been here, or maybe you know the answer, please do let me know in the comments. Anyway, for food, I thought I would go to the uh, food court. There is a restaurant, there's a couple of restaurants here actually. There's even a, uh, a Chinese restaurant, but I'm gonna go to the food court because I'm on a budget and let's check out what kind of food there is. Just before we go to the food court, I wanna see how many people I'm oh, actually in the pool in the uh, in the lagoon area. There's still quite a few people. Obviously, bearing in mind that you can swim up until I think midnight in some pools. The outside area closes at about six o'clock, but this is still open. Look at this. Love the green lights. I might go for a dip after dinner. I tell you what, it really does give you the feel of being somewhere warm and hot abroad at night time because it is so warm in here there's a few people in the bar getting a drink so the main restaurant is down there the food court is just there but you can grab your food and bring it in there just thought I would ooh, chill in one of these chairs oh this is gonna make me go to sleep so the other thing I have to mention is, you know, when you're abroad and as a guy, you go into a restaurant or a bar and they kind of always ask you to put your top on. Here, you can walk around in your swimming shorts without your top on and go into any restaurant, cafe, and they don't say anything, which is pretty good because you kind of just want to walk around uh, in your swimming costume because it's so warm. Just like here, look. Getting some frozen yogurt this summer night i love the fact that you feel like you are on holiday in the warm right let's head into the food court see what we have on offer so this shuts at 10 30 so we've got pasta pizza so the pizzas are cooked and they're just left there and you literally just grab a whole pizza if you want it i feel like a pizza tonight grab one of these <laughs> it's the last one the checkout there's also some other food and some burgers that you can pay to order slushies to have oh yeah do I just pay for this like this yeah yeah 11 euros for that thank you pizza for one pepperoni pizza to be honest this is all I really actually fancied tonight after a, a busy day with the uh, the water flumes, this should be good. Yes, I know, I'm eating it with a knife and fork. There's gonna be so many comments saying, why on earth are you doing that? I'm trying to be civilized, but it's really hard. Because I'm operating the camera and I don't wanna get my hands all greasy. Okay, let's walk to the main beach, see how many people are still there. Seems to be any entertainment going on in the theatre tonight. Wow. 
Look at this. There's still people in the pool. Down here on the beach, there's a few people on the sunbeds. The slides have all shut down for the night. But I love the fact that you've got like the sunset moonlit vibes on the background. And the fact that you are actually allowed to still go in the pool. And I guess the reason for that is there's loads of accommodation in here. And so, you know, what you're supposed to do of an evening, you should be able to still come in and enjoy the pool, which you can do. I'm not quite sure what time it's open till. I know the bars are open till one o'clock. I think these might be open. I'm sure I saw a sign till midnight or I could be wrong. Could be even later than that. But it's uh, coming up towards 10 o'clock. Not too many people in the bar and the restaurant. Obviously all the day trippers have gone home now, but the bar is still open. I'm very tempted to get a little bit of cheesecake actually before I go back to my room. Even the slides are still going this time of night as well. Look at that. Green for me to go, I've got my clothes on, I can't. I think I'm gonna go for a tea and a dime donut looks great. So I've got my tea. I've just dropped my donut on the floor and it's gone face up. Three second rule, right? So I've got my tea and my donut. By the way, there is no um, English tea, it's only fruit tea in here. Otherwise, I would have made myself a tea in the room. I'll see you in the morning for breakfast. I'll be okay eating this one, I? Morning, so last morning here. Let's go and get some breakfast. Look how they do the butter. Press this button. Put your plate under there. Blop. So I've got some cheese and ham, some salad options. If you want to get jam and stuff, you get them in these eatable little cones, which are quite nice. And a bit of bacon. Wow, oh, that bacon's definitely done. A couple of sausages. And some eggs. And I got myself a cappuccino as well. A simple breakfast, but to be honest, that's all I want. It's obviously a very quiet time at the minute, but the queues weren't too bad. So it might be in the middle of nowhere, but it's definitely worth the trip. If you want to see the best rated water park in the world, which is in Tenerife, click the video here. Do give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and comment below if you've been or would you come here? I'll see you next time.